What is up guys, my name is Asteroid and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide. So guys, today, today, we're going to be covering Typhlosion, thanks to Rodiad. If you guys want your favorite Pokemon or just any Pokemon in general to be covered on this series, then of course go down there in the comment section, smack a comment, and I will definitely get on this. So, today's episode is going to be a bit shorter than usual because Typhlosion is not really that diverse of a Pokemon. There is one really good way to run it, and that's pretty much going to be the way you want to run it every single time. Its move pool is pretty shallow, but that being said, you want to go max special attack, max speed, and you could go for an HP. Do not get me wrong, but there is a way to better optimize this EV spread. Now, as you can see, Hyplosion is a fire type, just a pure fire type, which means it's weak to stealth rocks. And you can also see that with the four EVs and HP, you have an even HP stat. If you guys didn't know, you can actually take more Stealth Rock and more Entry Hazard damage if you have an odd HP stat. So what you could do is you could take those four EVs and HP and put them into Special Defense or Defense. It is all your choice, but uh, having an odd HP stat really does help out with those Entry Hazards, and it could mean the difference between a win or a loss. So keep that in mind. For the moves, we have Eruption, Focus Blast, Extra Sensory, and HP Ice. Now, Eruption is a very, very good move on Typhlosion because combined with your Choice Scarf and your pretty decent speed stat, you can outspeed a lot of things, and you're not going to have to worry about taking damage before you're able to get off an Eruption. So, very, very destructive. Send in Typhlosion, outspeed, get that Eruption off, and it'll do all the damage. So, moving on, we have Focus Blast, 120 base power. I really don't like Focus Blast because it's called Focus Miss for a reason. But it's one of the best coverage moves that a Rodiad gets, so you can definitely run that. And next up, we have Extra Sensory for the second type coverage. 80 beast power, 100% accuracy really does do well there with that 10% chance to flinch. And finally, we have HP Ice for the ice type coverage. Could be good for dragons. If you're going to run HP Ice, make sure you have your IV set up like this. 31 HP, 30 attack, 30 defense, 31 special attack, 31 special defense, and 31 speed. That's going to give you HP Ice. If you don't want HP Ice or if you don't have access to HP Ice, then you can definitely swap that out for Flamethrower or Lava Plume or any of the other fire type moves that Rodia gets. It's actually not that bad of an idea to run two fire type moves on this set because if you come in late game and uh, you know you're low on health, Eruption's not going to do that much. So carrying a Flamethrower or an Overheat or a Lava Plume alongside the Eruption may not be that bad of an idea. So anyways, moving on to the ability, we have Flash Fire, which is going to give you an immunity to fire type moves. And if you do get hit by one, then your fire type attacks are going to be boosted by 1.5 times. This could be very, very useful, especially for boosting that Eruption. So you can swap in on a Flamethrower and then do the utmost of work with Eruption. So anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this set. So let's move on to the next set. Anyways, guys, this set is pretty much the exact opposite of the previous one. The previous one was a modest Choice Scarf set, and this is a timid Choice Specs set. So the idea here is to be a bit more hard hitting with the Choice Specs, but not as fast with the timid nature. So pretty much the same idea, max special attack, max speed, four in special defense. You could do the four EVs in HP, but you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna have an even HP stat and Stealth Rocks are not gonna be in your favor. But looking at the moves, we have Lava Plume, 80 base power, 100% accuracy, 30% chance to burn. Definitely a nice move. You could run Flamethrower if you wanted to. You could run Overheat. You could run pretty much any other special fire type move that a Rodiad gets. We have Heat Wave, of course, or even Eruption would work out well. But you do have to keep in mind that you're not as fast as the first set, so definitely make note of that. We have Extra Sensory for the coverage, of course, once again. Focus Blast for the coverage, and HP Ice for the coverage once again. Now, there's one other move that I was going to speak about in the previous set, and that move is Solar Beam. So if you wanted to run this Pokemon on a Sun Team, Solar Beam is definitely not a bad option. 120 base power, 100% accuracy, and can really, really put in the work there. Alright guys, I think that is pretty much it when it comes to Typhlosion. As I said, the move pool is not that diverse, your stats aren't that flexible, and there really is only one or two good ways to run Typhlosion. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's shorter competitive guide, make sure you smash that like button down below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!